To use the TMT codes, go to www.jackboard.org, enter the code at the search prompt, and you'll be taken to the information you need. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the smart RGB LED on the Jackboard top. To visit the top's home page on the Jackboard website, use the TMT code shown on the screen. But first of all, a little bit of theory. As you would know, white light is actually made up of many different colours. In robotics and computers, we tend to use three colours to represent all others. These are red, green and blue. By combining these three colours, you can make just about every other colour that you can see. So for example, looking at this picture, if we combine red and green, we get yellow. And if we combine all three colours, we end up with white. The smart RGB LED is the white square located in the upper right section of the jackboard top. In a previous video, we covered the RGB LED on the top. You can get to this video by going to the top's homepage and look in the resources section. Unlike the previous RGB LED, which had four wires, the smart one only has three connections. This is because the LED actually contains a small computer in it. So all we need to provide it is power, a way of communicating with it, which is the data line, and the ground line. Before you connect the RGB LED to the jackboard, make sure that the power to the jackboard is turned off. First, take a green jumper wire and connect it to the ground line on the jackboard and then to the ground pin on the LED. Next, take a white jumper wire, or it can be any color, but we're just using white, and connect it to port pin E1. And lastly, take a red jumper wire and connect it from the five volt power supply pin on the LED to the five volt supply line on the jack board. Your connection should look like this. Check your connections against this picture and make sure that they match. In this view, starting from the left hand side, the green wire is the ground, the white wire in the center is the data line which should connect to port pin E1, and the red wire on the right hand side is the 5 volt power supply. To use the smart RGB LED with the jackboard top, we need to tell the jackboard how many LEDs we have. To do this, we use the SLED N command. So at the command prompt, type SLED N space 1 because we have one LED on the jackboard top and press enter. Now that we've told the jackboard how many LEDs we have, we can start setting the LEDs color. To do this, we use the SLED command followed by the number of the LED, which in this case is 1, and the color we want. White is 1 and the LED will turn white. If I wanted to change the color to red, I would set it to three. And finally, if I wanted to turn it to lime, I would set it to nine. To turn the LEDs off, we use the SLEDOFF command. We can also set the red, green and blue component individually, keeping in mind that an RGB LED is literally an LED that has three separate LEDs in it, those LEDs being red, green and blue. So to set the individual red, green and blue values, we use SLED space 1, and then instead of entering one color, we actually enter all three. So for example, if I want to set it to red, I would type 255 space 0 space 0. Remembering that the individual LED values can be between 0 and 255. If I press enter, this will make the LED red because I've only set the red value. The green and the blue are all 0. So if I wanted to make it green, I would set the red value to 0 and set the green value to 255, and it goes green. And likewise, 
To set it to blue, I set the red and the green values to zero and set blue to 255. And the LED turns blue. This allows you to make just about any color you like. The video camera makes the colors look very subdued. When you see them on your jackboard, they look much better. We can also change the brightness of the LED using the SLEDB command. So for example, I have the LED on full white right now. And if I wanted to reduce it to 10%, I would type SLEDB space 10 and press enter. And you can see the LED dims to 10% of its normal value. So the range for this command is zero, which is off, up to 100%, which is maximum brightness. And also notice that this command affects all of the LEDs on the jackboard, including the activity LED and all of the user LEDs. Here, we have a color table for the RGB LED on the jackboard. When you see an RGB LED displaying white, what you're actually seeing are three LEDs, a red one, a green one, and a blue one, all turned on at the same time. But because they're so close together, we see them as being one light. We can prove this by looking at an RGB LED that's displaying white, and then slowly turning down the intensity until eventually it gets dim enough that we can see the individual LEDs. In this more magnified view, you can see the CPU or the little computer that's responsible for controlling the three LEDs. Here are some programs that you can try for yourself. To access a program, use its TMT code. This first program will cycle the RGB LED through the common colors that were shown in the table earlier on. So in total, you should see about 16 different colors. This program is going to light up each of the RGB colors in order from 0 to 255. So when it runs, you'll see it slowly go red, then green, and then blue. The smart RGB LED on the jackboard top is the white square in the upper right hand corner. The LED is smart because it has its own built-in computer that accepts commands from the jackboard and allows you a lot more control over what's displayed. We also learned that you can make pretty much any color that the human eye can see by simply using three colors, red, green, and blue. In the meantime, if you want any other information or are just curious, you can visit us on www.jackboard.org.